Hello fellow art lovers, Bright Idea here, and in this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This is going to be an art tutorial on how to draw easy peasy Christmas lights in Photoshop, which is really fun to do, really simple, and totally customizable. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are, we have a nice blank canvas, and I have the paintbrush tool here and a brush here and do so what we're going to do is we're going to make a custom brush and over here is where the magic happens so first we're going to look at the brush tip shape and we're going to space these out so you can play around with these the Christmas lights can be as close or as far apart as you like them I'm gonna put these to 150 percent Eh, who cares? 151. And what you can do is make the up here. I'm going to make them really thin Christmas lights because that's what I feel like doing. And then I'm going to go to Shape Dynamics. And over here is where you can change the size, the angle. It's nice to see a little bit, like not st perfectly straight. You can give them a little bit of angle jitter. And so it'll programmatically show the lights at different angles and over here scattering make it a little bit off kilter so you know because when you see different Christmas lights they look pretty funky funkily spaced I'm gonna do a little bit more that way and last what you want to do is you want to go to color dynamics so this will give you the ability to have multicolor Christmas lights and you could very well have plain Christmas lights, but let me show you what happens when you do color dynamics. So you have hue jitter all the way, all the way to 100%, and this is what happens. And if you pick another color, let's say red, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing because the hue's going all over the place. And you can play around with these all you like. Have a brightness jitter, so sometimes you'll have dark colors, sometimes you'll have light colors. But it's best to put the brightness in so it doesn't jitter too much, so you get a pretty consistent uh, brightness and saturation. The hue is really the thing. Once you've got your brush, you can pretty much just go crazy. Another thing you can do with this cool custom brush is you can use the pen tool to make really complex curves and stuff. So for example, I'm going to just do this funky shape and just leave it at that. And I'm going to go to the paths panel and over here, this, uh, this little thing, it puts it along the path like that. You see? So if you are doing along a house or along a wreath, it'll follow the path. So let me try something else here. And boop. Okay, that looks a little messy. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you get some, some good use out of this little tutorial. Let me know what you thought, and uh, keep an eye out for more, wait for it, bright ideas. Until next time, see you later.